Well, apparently Guy Ritchie's The Covenant has a little brother, and the movie that I'm talking about today is called Kandahar, which is now available to stream on VOD and will also be available on Blu-ray on July 18th. But the biggest question, is this film worth your time? Well, stick around and let's talk about it. A CIA operative and his translator flee from special forces in Afghanistan after exposing a covert mission. The film stars Gerard Butler, Mitchell LaFortune, Mark Arnold, Nina Toussaint White, and Bahadur Faladi, and was directed by Rick Roman Woe, and he's done films like Greenland, Angel Has Fallen, Snitch, and National Champions. My initial thoughts going into Kandahar, now I saw a trailer for this film a couple times and the first thing that I thought was, hey, this looks exactly like Guy Ritchie's The Covenant and there are a few other movies coming out the week that this was coming out. This came out in the end of May and I was like, I'll just go ahead and save this film for later. And what can I say really positive about this film? Well, I do like the cinematography, the film, it is filmed all in Saudi Arabia, so they do a really good job of capturing the desert and those conditions within the desert. Gerard Butler, he puts on a pretty solid performance. I think by now in these action films, he's done many films now with Rick Roman Well, I think he really knows where his role is at, and I think he knows what he really needs to do in such role. And I think even though these films can feel kind of generic and feel like they've been done a million times, I think he knows what he's supposed to do. And in this film, he has himself and a translator, and they're trying to get to an extraction point after their cover is blown and in doing so they face a little bit of threat during this mission and during this mission I will say that the film it takes itself in a very serious tone there isn't a lot of emotional moments there probably is about I can think of one emotional moment where both him and the translator actually talk about family and that's really all the emotional moments in the film it really plays out with a little bit of action in between and a lot of dialogue between both our translator and also Gerard Butler's character as well when there is action scenes I do think the film it does have some excitement with that I don't think the action scenes are really just full-blown like crazy excitement that it's something that you haven't seen before but I do think when they actually have these action scenes they're actually not too bad and I think majority of the action really in here is the last 30 minutes of the film they throw in a little bit of action within the first about hour and a half but the film it really does have a slower pace to it and I think also what gets in the way they have these side stories with the film which don't really amount to much they have a reporter that actually gets kidnapped and there really isn't a lot of weight to it. The reporter that actually gets kidnapped, I felt that they did heighten that portion of the film. And I do like the part where they actually question the reporter, the actual enemy that is. And I felt like beyond that, we don't get really much interaction with the enemy. And another problem that I don't understand in this film, and I'm finding it that it's a trend in film now, is there are a lot of parts where they're talking in another language and there is no subtitles what in the world is going on is it really that much money to actually put subtitles and let us know what the characters are actually saying it's just way too much in this film and i just don't understand why that is such a problem this is an american film that was actually released in american theater so it's like why can't you put subtitles another thing with gerard butler's character that i noticed is i felt like he played a character that he's played many a times His whole background is he's actually having a wife that is divorcing him and then he actually doesn't see his daughter and he doesn't spend time with his daughter and I felt like we've seen that character many of times. I felt overall as the plot and the pacing it was just a little bit too slow in parts and I felt like there was a lot of dragging points in the film. It feels like a film that you can watch just made for streaming but nothing really more than that it definitely doesn't feel like a memorable film and i feel like there are a lot of other films that do it a lot better so as far as the score for this film i would give it a two and a half out of five i believe it's a one-time watch and i just believe that it's a film that isn't really memorable for me i think for gerard butler he does fine in it and i'm okay watching films like this from him but i think when he does take these projects i just hope that he has a little bit different character and i hope that he has a film that 
has a little bit more to the story and has a little bit of emotional moments and just doesn't feel like it just drags on because this just feels like two hours for no reason. And I feel like they could have definitely cut the film a little bit. However, I wanna hear from you guys down in the comments. What did you think of Kandahar? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it just kind of meh? And if you haven't seen it yet, are you gonna check it out when it drops on VOD? Or are you gonna pick it up on Blu-ray when it comes out? Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on my next review.